So today is a bittersweet, but a, a new beginning for all of us because my partner in truth, Tim Ray, founder of United Intention, uh, founder of many things, has um, is going to be starting a new path. And so this is going to be our last Unite um, Integrated Senior Show, but it's not the end of our relationship because we're going to be doing some work together. So we're going to talk about that today. So fasten your seatbelt. We're going to learn and grow together. Hit it, Brian. Do I hear the music? So it's time to dance? I don't have the music. I, you always have the music when you do pre-records. Mm -mm, last time we didn't have it. We don't have that laptop anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on the laptop. Okay. So this is a pre-recorded show and it's going to air on the 29th. So now you get the inside scoop, everybody who watches YouTube. So Brian, get ready to start recording. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt again because we're together. <laughs> okay. So this is for the radio show. Oh, this is okay. Hello, my listening friends. So nice we can meet each other on the air on this beautiful best day ever. And for those of you who've been tuning in week after week, month after month, year after year, I am so grateful for you. Welcome back. And if you are new to the Lillian McDermott radio show, let me tell you, I've been waiting for you. And so that you know, it is a, this is a safe place where you can go to when you need a friend. A little bit about me. I am committed to providing a alternative ways to heal, and it is my mission to make awareness, responsibility, and truth a part of our everyday life. And I hope you, my listening, as well as my viewing friends, will feel empowered to embrace a new truth and live the life of your dreams. Now, here's the thing. Tim Ray, I have called him so many names, uh, but good, they're all good, all good names. But one of the names that I've called Tim is my partner in truth. And my partner in truth is the founder of United Intentions. He has, he has a great vision, so much energy to create this United Intention. He believes the world is a good place. And uh, when we find like-minded people, we unite this belief together. And so he is creating... Just like we are on the Lillian McDermott radio show, we're creating this energy, this positive energy, critical mass for that people will wake up. And so today is our last um, integrated seniors as we know it uh, show with Tim Ray, because we're going to be doing other things with Tim. We're going to be learning and growing. We're going to be getting our health back. We're going to be doing so much together. But as we know, Integrated Seniors is going to change a bit. So this is our last uh, Integrated Senior um, show that we're going to be doing. But we don't know for now. We don't know if somebody's listening today and saying, I am a part of the senior movement and I want to create empowerment and freedom as opposed to you get old and you get decrepit. That is not true. The new truth is that we can create the life of our dreams by living and making choices, informed choices. Informed choices is the key. And so today I'm excited because it is our sole purpose in life to give and receive love and knowledge. And I'm grateful that Tim Ray is here to do just that. Welcome Tim to the Lillian McDermott radio show. Thank you, Lillian. I just, um, it, it is bittersweet, but at the same time, I know you and I are, uh, will be connected in many different ways and, and, uh, different projects going forward. In fact, I think you'll be, you'll be coming up to Atlanta next, next month. Yeah. So, um, uh, but you know, so it's bittersweet for our listeners at the same time. Like you said, you don't know what this future has in store. So correct, correct. Right? you're up to great things, Tim. You're doing great things. Thank you. Thank you. So let's, before we get started on all the things we're going to talk about today regarding the future of Tim Ray, mm -hmm. let's, let's t share your background where you always focused on bringing people's positive energy together and creating a positive world as opposed to a world that the news people report on yeah yeah two different realities seems like doesn't it yes <clears throat> you know but i'd say in my past lily is more of a 
I've always led by my intentions and for the most part, I always had positive intentions, intentions to have fun, intentions to do good by people, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, not really knowing of that, just, you know, just kind of my soul journey and direction. But as I learned about intent and, you know, how intent can take us down dark roads, intent can take us down, you know, roads of light, uh, that I realized it's more of a choice over time. And, and so, to me, when I'm in a positive or loving, intentional mood, I truly believe that's my connection to a higher power, to God. Mm-hmm. And that's where, you, need to think, you know, whatever you believe is listening to you. Um, and when I'm in a negative intention state of mindset, I believe that's when I'm disconnected, you know. You know, nobody cares. <laughs> but where, so, did, where did that where did that moment come from? Everybody has a moment. I just um, wrote an article called "The Five D's of, for Success," and you know, there's there's a time in people's life, and D, this D is not a part of it. But when you get disease or divorce or devastation, that kind of D that will cause you to completely change your direction. Some mm-hmm. people go towards that direction. <clears throat> And say, oh, woe is me, and this is the life I, the, the cards I was dealt with. But you have turned away from that. You veered the ship. You said, no more of that. What mm-hmm. was that moment for you, Tim? Uh, yeah, I have to say, is when I had that moment of realizing that I was connecting the dots, that my thoughts and feelings create what I experience. Mm-hmm. And so, thoughts, feelings first, my experience, my reality second. When I had that, just that revelation, like, whoa, so I'm responsible for everything that I do, you know? Um, and, you know, it was years ago when I had that moment, but at the same time, but I can remember the moment in the sense that, wow, I really had to claim all my power, all my responsibility, good and bad in my life. And, and it was scary initially. Yes, uh, absolutely. So let's, let's continue talking about that because many of us are there. Many of us are going, I want to change. I just don't know how. So let's not wait till there's a D of devastation to make that happen. And we're going to continue our conversation with Tim Ray when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. Yeah, that, you know, I, I, I really truly feel that many of us just don't know until that moment that moment that may be life-changing, life-threatening, uh, life-altering, where we say, no more. Mm. But many people continue down that path, even though some people choose to go no more. Some people say, why me? Yeah. So you said no more. Yeah. And, you know, and, and it's, it's not like I don't slip back sometimes playing the victim role at times, but... I don't dwell there or stay there. And I kind of usually gather myself, oh, whoa, 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 listen, okay. And I immediately now default to Lily is, okay, why did I create that? I mean, okay, what, what? My what, four questions? Yeah, you're, yeah, back am to I your a, four questions. Am I your Jiminy Cricket? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay, kids. <laughs> I said, that's four questions. You, you pop on the angel side of my shoulder. <laughs> I have a hair. I have a handful of others who pop on the devil side, so you know. <laughs> I, I need more. I need more lilies on my shoulder. So um, you know, I, uh, I and it was a, it was a, just an opening, a mind blowing, you know, that moment. But then, you know, it is scary initially when you realize that you're creating this. But when it settles, the dust settles, and you start practicing, and you realize, to me, intention is the steering. I was able to put my hands on the steering wheel finally and drive the car where I wanted to through my intentions. Mm-hmm. And so my subconscious was running the show and, and it comes from fear, motivated by fear and, and just life, life, unfortunate experiences, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. Um, but once I realized my intentions is the key to driving my life where I wanted to go, wow, okay, well, this is not so scary. And, you know, I, now I could actually consciously in, intend what I want to experience, even though my subconscious is so powerful. Yeah, absolutely. So, that, you know, to me has been, you know, really where I am and why I am motivated to do what I do. Very good. And so when we get back from this break, we're going to be talking about, and I'm, I'm keeping an eye, Brian, you're the driver. Speaking of the driver, you, oh, he's ready. All right. <laughs> Say the word, Lily. Okay. So here we go. So this is segment two as okay. we get started. Oh, 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 wait a second. Before we do that. Self, I'm just so uh, mesmerized. <laughs> well, you know what? Everybody wants to look at you. 
on the day that you were born, we got together. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'm not going to serenade you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the ready sign. Here we go. All right. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow together. Today's uh, teacher is my partner in truth. It's one of the names that I like to call Tim. When we're on the air, off the air, we call each other other things. But on the air, I've, I've, I'm just so grateful that my partner in truth has become a friend of mine. I absolutely adore Tim Ray. I love what he's creating. And that is part of um, this is our last show together as, as integrated seniors. But that doesn't mean it's going to be our last uh, show together because we are absolutely. planning. There's a lot of things that are going on. We just talked about United Intentions a little bit. But I want to go back to United Intentions because, you know, people have these, this aha moments, this moment of new truth, and they pretty much keep it to themselves. You know, maybe it'll last for the change might last a week, a month, maybe a year, but you created a whole platform called United Intentions. So let's talk about what can we at United Intention or unitedintentions.org, what can we expect or why should we go to that website? What do we get from that? Sure. Well, thank you, Lily, for letting me share that because multiple things and, and our vision really is simply assisting people understanding the power of their intentions. And our mission is giving resources and tools to show people how they can embrace their power of intentions, such as our Imagine If program, which is, is, yeah. a, is a SEL program for kids from first grade to 12th grade that actually shows children how their thoughts create their reality and how they yeah. can claim their power back, right? Be responsible for that. Uh, also, we have an online community that allows people to learn how to create, track, and manifest their intentions. And you can do that with like-minded people as well. Um, and we even started a, uh, the UI media network where we share and people like minded people such as yourself can get on the network and share their understanding of how to live an intentional life and how to direct their life through the power of their intentions, which is everything. And, and, now, and I know you know, and I'm sure your listeners know too, uh, is that now our intentions and thoughts and feelings are measurable. I mean, we, they have physical properties to it. So they're actually affecting within our bodies and outside of our bodies. Yes. And this is, this is fact. This is science. This is not hokey stuff. This is reality of what we have. Yeah. And, we're not, and we're not taught this in school, no. you know, we're, we're in, and which we, are, we should, in my opinion. But this is, this is our future. This is what we need to be doing. Absolutely. And you guys are doing a great job with the Imagine If program, which is train a child young, you know, teach them that they are powerful and our thoughts are powerful. You know, I, I was just sharing, I was, I was walking with this guy in the gym, his name is Bob. And I know he'll, I don't know if he's going to be listening to this one, but, but um, Bob and I walk in the morning at the gym. And, um, you know, I was saying that people want to know, how to make money, how to be successful at work, how to be successful, you know, in, in different things that you do. But very seldom people want to be successful with health. They want to be successful with their mind and their thoughts and their relationships. They, they, it's a back thing. It's a thing in the background. And so I said, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's not sexy. It's mm. not sexy to take responsibility for your life. It's mm. not sexy because it always has this negative connotation, blame, shame, fault, and duty. So when you find a truth like this, and when I learned about the secret for responsibility and the power to change my life with my thoughts, and I, I, I knew this, but I didn't know it. I didn't know what I didn't know. And so when um, I started learning this, it's, it's, like a, it's, it's like learning to ride a bike. It's just like we're learning to everything. But, but then again, I've taken my message and as a life coach or on the radio or united with your intentions, we can make a difference. Together, we combine uh, to the point, Tim, uh, that I've just started looking at biofeedback. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever done any shows on biofeedback, but now this biofeedback, and I'm learning about it, if you take your hair or your DNA nail clippings and you put it on this machine, it could help you from a distance so those are all the things that people would go oh that's hokey so anyway i was telling bob that 
I'll probably be a t in 20 years from now, I'll be a overnight success in 20 years because I think that there is critical mass. People like you, people like me, all over the world, we're coming together, um, Tony Robbins and a, and a much larger scale, and we're coming together to foster this intention and learning how that our minds can create and look at everything that you've created. Now, with United Intentions, you guys have been uh, our beneficiaries of the City Gala in October. So let's talk about the City Gala and what is that all about? Sure. And congratulations. <clears throat> well, thank you. Yeah, and I mean, you're looking at thousands of applications of nonprofits apply every year to the City Gala. Ryan Long's uh, organization is a nonprofit that assists other nonprofits how to make an impact and how to grow. And, and it, what's great about his program uh, and what and the City Gala, and you go check it out at citygala.org, is that they, it's celebrity driven. And it's, it's actually the only publicly open Academy Awards for, for people in public that's hosted the same day of, of the Academy Awards in February every year. Uh, and you have, you know, have A-listed uh, actors. I mean, last year we had Matthew McConaughey come to it, uh, a handful of other, uh, other well-known people. This year I've been looking at Leonardo Di DiCaprio, looking at top actors who come and share and give back to the nonprofits. Um, and what's cool about this is that every, it's not just the, on the Academy Awards only, which is the big city gala event, mm -hmm. but every, of, every other foundation, like there's seven foundations this year, they have an opportunity to create an event like we're doing with the city gala where you leverage the celebrity status and everything else. And you have this big red, red carpet, black tie affair, mastermind. We're doing this year in Atlanta on October 13th, which you're coming to, we're doing a, um, a shark tank like style where entrepreneurs can pitch their ideas to these uh, high net wealth people. Uh, and, and who knows what's going to happen from those moments. And throughout the day, you learn about the masterminds of people on the panels. I think you can be one of our panelists. Yes. Um, and, and, and you get feedback on how to really grow and what to do if you're really an entrepreneur and trying to get into this, as well as the big party at the end of the day, uh, like 6 o'clock on. We have entertainment. We have band. We're going to have as, you know, the, we have press coming, CBS, and a whole bunch of other local press and national press, too, because of the city gala celebrity-driven uh, event. And, uh, and it's like, it's this humongous day of celebration and knowledge and sharing all wrapped up in one. And that's just our event. And then you have the summits that they do. And so for a really minimal price, you get access, access to not only our event, but all these other events and the big city gala event at the end of the year during the, at the beginning of the year during the Academy Awards. And so, so you have a chance how, to, you know. Yeah. How that. can, how can people go to this? Can people, <clears throat> can anybody go to it or do you have to be invited? Like you've invited me to go. Yes. Yeah. Well, so. well, I mean, uh, on the panels and things like that, you have to have an invite, but if you want to start going to that, it's uh, it's really easy. It's like, basically it's, it's, it's a giveaway. It's $120 for the most part. You can, and they have payment plans. You do $10 a month. And you get access to all the tickets to all the all the summits every year. There's a summit going on right now this weekend in New York City. They have uh, Mario Gomez, I believe, thinks they're uh, you know sharing information, emceeing stuff like this, and uh, they have all you know, they have celebrities everywhere they go, and 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 you can for ten dollars a month, you're able to have access to that and also to the city gala in uh, in February during the Academy Awards. And it's, it's go to citygala.org and it walk you right, walk you right through it. Once you have access, you have access to everything. And okay. the point, the point of the nonprofit is not to really, it's to get people involved and, and, and get people woken up to really socially conscious minded nonprofits. That's what the, that's what Brian focuses on with the city gala. And of course the McDermott Holistic <clears throat> Healing Foundation Mm -hmm. uh, is planning on making a, a presentation. Big splash, big splash in ATL. Splash. Because yes, because we, we really want to um, help people see that no one is chemotherapy deficient. And we want to be able to pay for treatment, alternative treatments that your body is deficient of something. Figure out what it is, whether it's mind, body, spirit. I, I love Dr. Lee Cowden when he came on the show and he said, and I actually wrote about it in my last article for Florida Today, you know, he said, you know, until you, when you fix the spirit and the mind, the body will heal. It's a lot cheaper to fill, fix the body when you heal the mind and the spirit. And that's not sexy. People <laughs> want to be victims. We have given our power away. 
And we just don't know how to take it back. And I love with United Intentions, what you're creating, you know, to, to alone, I may be just one person, but together and united, we are an overwhelming majority. And that critical mass is so important. And I'm, I'm so grateful that our like-mindedness has come together so that we can expand even more. Right. No, I listen, it, it, it's, it, I think it's inevitable when people you know it match frequencies and everything's like, you know, Lily is vibration and frequency and mm -hmm. Einstein says it every time. And I, I can't escape this because it seems like so mathematical and it has to be is when you want to experience a certain reality, you have to match the frequency of that reality you want to experience. Yeah. There's no other way. Yeah. And, 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 it's, and, a, and a matching frequency is a state of mindset because those thoughts have certain frequencies. And if you have a very positive, loving mindset, it's a certain frequency to that thought and feeling, and you're going to match other similar thoughts and feelings that are at that, that frequency. It's yes. at, it, there's no other way. Yes. And you know what, Tim? And, and I know that we've all experienced this, but going along with the frequency that you're talking about, how many times have you thought of me or I thought of you and the phone rings? And it could be anybody. And it could yeah. be, you know, how many times have you thought of somebody and all of a sudden the phone rings? Yeah. That is that frequency. Yep. It reaches, yeah. it, it, you know, it doesn't need a cell tower. There's no time and space for it. You're yeah, right. it, it just, it happens. And so along with this, this thought process, um, I read a quote and I wanted to share it with you and to you, my listening friends. Um, it, and it's, and it, it's by Younger, it's Seneca the Younger, Seneca the Younger. And it says, we suffer more in our imagination than in reality. Mm, God, that is beautiful. Isn't that powerful? Yeah, yeah. We suffer more in imagination than we uh, do in reality. You know, and what's, what, what's, what's that a, what a testimony for? It's the power of our intent and our thoughts That's right. are so powerful that our imagination can put ourselves in prison than our actual circumstances. That's right. That's right. And, you know, when, when we were talking off the break and you were saying that, that you know, whenever you're, you're not in alignment with what you're, like if you're not feeling the way you want to feel, you want to be happy, you know that's what you want. So you said that you asked the four questions. Yeah. I, I, I just realized today that I am your Ginny Mini. Your Ginny Mini. <laughs> there you are, right down my shoulder. Right on your shoulder, as <laughs> always. Well, you know, you've been able to create so much. Now, <clears throat> I want to go back because you said that there is a shark tank that people get to present their ideas. Uh, yeah. Are these business ideas or are these nonprofit ideas? Um, both. Um, okay. but, but the point being is that um, it is a shark tank. And what we, what's great about this event is Shrimp Tank is actually a... It's a group. shrimp tank? Well, actually, that's the name of the organization that actually oh, in, Atlanta, shrimp tank. <laughs> in Atlanta, you know, you have these, you have, uh, these three guys, Lee Heisman and uh, Chris, Chris Hanks and, and Ted Jenkins are pretty well-known high wealth net individuals. Uh, Chris teaches entrepreneur school over at Kevin State University in, in Atlanta, but they have three or four or five different um, shrimp tanks in other cities. So, and it's the same concept, but it's, it's called shrimp tank. And these guys are actually hosting our, our, our event for the, cool. for the, for the pitching the ideas to the, to the uh, shrimp tank folks who, who are, do know Mr. Wonderful and they do know Mark Cuban and they do uh, communicate with them because they all are support the shark tank supports the shrimp tank. So um, it's really going to be a neat opportunity to, to uh, highlight them as well as I've been on their shows and often they've been on my shows and we have a lot of fun together. We have great dynamics uh, and, and it's just it's been really uh, interesting to see how this all unfolding. And when it's, when it's that easy to unfold, you know you're on the path. You, things, are, things, are, things are going well and it's smooth. Yeah, that's good. You know, and, and I'm, I'm thinking as you're talking about this, you know, I've got the shark tank, you got the shrimp tank. Why don't we start the minnow tank or, or the mullet? Let's do the mullet tank because we have a lot of mullet in the river here. And <laughs> how, about, how about the mega shark tank? Let's, let's go mega big. Mega shark? Okay, let's go bigger. go home. Okay, let's go to blue whale tank. Okay, so we're going to continue our conversation with Tim Ray when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. I love being silly with you, sir. <laughs> we have fun, don't we? <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait till you come up here. And and, and if, if you you and the hubby wants to uh, crash, stay at my place. You guys are welcome to. So. Okay, we will. We will.
We just have to get all that. Uh, I, I don't know if you have a, a dog hair free room. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> you mean they wander around in all, all parts of your house? Is there a sacred place where your dogs can't go? Um, well, downstairs, um, they, they go, but they don't go. They, well, yeah, I'd have to make sure I don't keep them down there. <laughs> you know, I might have to clear it out from the, the life of a man without allergies. I know, I know. Like no boundaries, dog. Go do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm in. I'm in the process of building them a little dog home uh, off of my room, which will have their own spot. So that, but we're not there yet. I think we're about six months out from that. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. That so is. Gonna have their own and and share the names of your dogs. Uh, Savannah, Scarlet, and Georgia, and they're all Southern Bells. Southern Bells. And, and, and Scar, all oh, yeah, exactly. All Scarlet and Georgia are actually the daughters of Savannah. Oh really? Yes. Wow. And they're and German then, shepherds. German shepherds, and they're and they're 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 high bloodline German shepherds, four generations. I mean, their pups go for about ten thousand dollars a pup. Yikes. That that um, police departments will pick up for um, training for police training. Wow! 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 Well, you know, it's it's it's, it's these animals are so beautiful, mm. and they bring so much joy, mm. and they are so smart. They oh, yeah. really are yeah. smart. Um, German shepherds are absolutely beautiful. You know, I lo I remember a long time ago they had a bum rap. Now the it the pit bull now it was the the German shepherd of yesterday, you know, type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not the dogs. It's the people who train the dogs. Yeah. German shepherds only a hundred years out from the wolf too. So that's really? uh, Yeah. And, and wolves come from bears. Bears are kept from the canine. You know, that's where the canine came from. Bears. Ah. Think about bears. Yeah. That's. I see. I just, have, I just, I, I guess I just have a problem, you know, thinking that, People were birds once and a wing fell off or the tail or a monkey and a tail well, fell well, off. And then... Well, that's not true. We have found out people, see, we found out from people like Greg Braden, had him on the show a little while ago, that uh, our DNA hasn't changed in since 200,000 years. Darwinism is out the door. That we were made. Out. We, uh, we were out. We were made. We don't know how, or at least science doesn't know how. Um, and we were made, and our DNA has been the same for 200,000 years. Creation <laughs> without the theory of evolution. Yeah doesn't work i mean you have you have so many gaps in both yeah. in both yeah. i think they are in yeah i think we're both if we put it together we should be get we should be able to be okay but it looks like we're ready to get back yeah. thank you brian for keeping us honest and you ready uh, tim this is our third segment this is where i talk about my uh myself a little bit <laughs> get it get it get it okay well i i think i am going to start the minnow tank <laughs> I think you've given me a great idea. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> Good. Take it. Take the minnow tank. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I call it the lily tank, but, you know, that's just my, uh, you know. Yeah, we'll put a little flower in there. Yeah. <laughs> lily of the valley. Peace lily. Peace lily. Okay. Well, that'll, be our, that'll be our mascot, the peace lily. Okay. Here we go. Let's get serious now. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott radio show where we, you can hear us worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. I am your host, Lillian McDermott, and it is my goal to learn from everybody that is in front of us. You know, just remember, the person in front of you might know something you don't know. So look at them with curiosity as opposed to criticism. Be curious about what the other person knows. It is such a different way of living your life. And so I want to encourage you to go to whenyouneedafriend.com because this is where we learn and grow together. This is where we have this new conversation. This is where we make responsibility so sexy, so muy sexy. That's whenyouneedafriend.com. Go to whenyouneedafriend.com and become a subscriber. And while you're there, Click on the YouTube video because this is where you get to eavesdrop in our off the air conversations. And some of them, some of the times they could be silly. Other times it could be very, very powerful. And when we're with Tim, we're talking, we're catching up personally. <laughs> That's what we're doing. And so I want to encourage you to go to when you need a friend .com and make sure that you um, subscribe to and follow me on all my social media and send me some love, share the link. And, uh, and also when you're there, make sure that you check out my sponsors. 
and support them the way they are supporting the show. Without them, the show would not happen. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't, I can't continue anymore without Tim. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some guilt in him. But we're going <laughs> to, we're going we're gonna to continue to grow with United Intentions and oh, I'm excited about uh, how Tim is going to be awakening Atlanta pretty soon, but we're going to be talking about that. But let me continue with, uh, you know, make sure you follow me on demand at iTunes, Google Play Music, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spotify. Tune in. You can go to tune in now and listen to the show live. So, and of course, last but not least, you can call me at 407 373 5959. Who gives you their cell phone number? just me 407-373-5959 and so we're talking today our teacher is my partner in crime and truth because we have gotten in some trouble so yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, 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 a little trouble makes it even more interesting to that's that. right that's right Har- harmless trouble harmless it trouble. is oh yeah very much we're not giving anybody something to talk about right yeah, absolutely <laughs> i mean, <laughs> I'm going to be breaking into song any minute now. So we've <laughs> talked about United Intentions. We've talked about the, um, the gala on October 13th that Leonardo is going to be there. And by the end of the show, or the well, gala, well, he, he, well, he's, he, he's going to be in, I think Leonardo's not going to be at October, but he'll be in the uh, Academy Awards in February. Oh, so am I going to that too? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes, you are. You are. Once you come to this one, you go to that one too. Uh, okay. Okay. So eventually I guess I'll meet him. Yes. So I'm glad I'm not going to be wah, wah, whatever. <laughs> but um, so for those of you who've been tuning in once a month to listen to Tim and I talk about integrated seniors, this is our last integrated senior show, but our, our friendship and our partnership is going to continue and we're going to grow in different ways through United Intentions, um, the Imagine If program, with uh, the gala, with our uh, nonprofit organizations. But there's also something that Tim is doing that he's bringing me along in his journey, which is Awaken Atlanta. So I, did I get that name right? You sure did. Awaken sure Atlanta. Did. So let's talk about Awaken Atlanta and where can people hear it? Sure. It's the um, Awaken Atlanta is the first, to my knowledge, uh, conscious morning show ever in the history of man and womankind. But wait a minute. Uh, Isn't my show about conscious living? Yes, but you're six, six, six to nine every morning, five days a week. I just do an hour. Do an hour. <laughs> you well, trump me. <laughs> well, you can be a, a regular celebrity yes, on it, so it doesn't really matter. On your show. And um, our tag, our tagline is is a conscious way to start your day, and Love it's it. uh, it's from six in the morning. We have um, it's six segments. We have the Soulful Thirty, which we share anything from meditation to yoga to how to prayer intention how to calm yourself get yourself set up in the love it. in the in the morning um and th- what you need to do for 30 minutes and then 6 30 we bring the trio in i have two unbelievable uh hosts three with three of us there uh it's just back and forth our chemistry is just great and it's fun uh shannon mcveigh and michael litton are just really incredible uh partners to have in this too mm-hmm. uh and then we go into what we call the tribe time where people can call in and interact and we have games and prizes we give and then we have, um, which is funny, we do traffic and weather because it's live, right? Yeah. Uh, and so it's uh, traffic and weather. It's called perfect day traffic and weather. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of it's, it's meant about perception, you know, and that's the whole point that's of right. the conscious media is. Our perception is, is our reality. It, exactly, exactly. And then, you know, also we have the, um, we have the uh, uh, good news section where we actually just, we, and it's not, it's not that we always share just good news, but we share news and then we say, okay, how can we perceive this into a good news? How can you turn a lemon into lemonade, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then what's happening, we have that. Uh, we have our Goodwill partners, like people like you may want to come and sponsor and we have a whole half hour, we sit down with you and interview you about what you're doing, what your project mm-hmm. is and, mm-hmm. and your work. Um, and it's just an incredible, incredible three hours uh, uh, that we're and now we're just recording it. So we're going to go live shortly, uh, but we have an app dedicated, which I, I, I say anything our app, uh, we're we're fine tuning that, but once the app is live, you can download us digitally anywhere. You can listen to this anywhere in the world, uh, as well as, of course, we'll be on some um, terrestrial radio out here. But the app to me is much more important because everything's moving digital now, and I think that's really going to be an interesting um, way of getting the messages out. Where it's not, you know, 
you're the boss. So you determine what you can say, what not say. No one's going to tell you what you can't do. So yeah, uh, to me, yeah. that's more that that's my truth coming out. So we're really excited about this Awaken Atlanta, and it's coming soon. And it, you'll see you'll see billboards of us there too. Maybe wow. We'll pop, maybe we'll pop one down in Florida just for you. Oh, one for me? Okay. Yeah. Just one of my pictures in it. We got a deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have you on my shoulder. Tell me what that's to do. That's right. You know? That's right. You little Jiminy Cricket. So, so well, Awaken Atlanta is from, you said, what time? What 6, time? A, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern time. And it's live. And you can stream right in through the app. Uh, and you can catch it uh, every day. We're going to be doing two, three days a week uh, starting starting October and then we're going to work our way up to five days a week before the end of the year. So that's awesome. That's awesome. And, you know, wish you lots of luck. I know that doing a show every day is a lot of work mm -hmm. and I do, cause I do an hour a day, um, but to do it three hours a day and uh, you know, the beauty of conscious living is that there are topics that you can uh, embrace. And I know that people like uh, uh, a friend of mine who has another uh, show, Ed Dean. I love Ed Dean. And he does politics three, three hours a day, every day. And that's like current. You have to be current. Yeah. But with, yeah. with um, you know, the thought and with this, this new thought movement that we are a part of, um, there are topics. It's, it's life. You know, mm. you don't just breathe once. Uh, it's a daily thing. And so it's a lot of, because the one thing that I would say is because there's so much time that needs to be filled, that we're so responsible to fill it with the right time, with mm -hmm. the right topic, with the new truth and all of that. And finding the right people that have that positive intention, that good intention, that's not um, skewed to just be for about them. Exactly. So, you know, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a lot to consider. So, yeah, I'm truly thinking of everyone, you know, win-win scenarios. There are some right. games rather than just what's, what's in it for me, you know. Yes. And, and people, people talk that, they'll say, oh, it's, I'm all about everyone else, but then their actions say opposite. So yeah. you really have to kind of exactly. look at people's beha behaviors. And yeah. Actions, you know? And then you have people that say, oh, I've got the latest snake oil. Yeah. And, you know, and so it's our responsibility, and I'm using the responsibility as empowerment and uh, as well, we need to empower ourselves to to research it in a way that we're not bringing false news to. You know, right, with sure. the media, with the media, it's when you, if it bleeds, it leads. And with <laughs> what we're doing, it, you know, if it's not bleeding, you know, we don't we don't need to we don't need to talk about a positive attitude at where where it's bleeding. You know, it it it, it doesn't. You know, like. Um, not being chemotherapy deficient or, you know, all these things. We just, it's, it's one of those things that we just have to make sure that we are bringing responsible radio to our listeners too. We're creating new, new neural pathways for conscious minded living. I love it. To the, what leads leads because it doesn't have to be that way. Just because people say it over and over again, we think, well, that's what only thing sells. And it's not true. We've been yeah. misled to believe that and we're creating a new paradigm of an alternative people could be looking at that actually helps raise the frequency and that's what we're doing we're we're raising our frequency in unconditional love and, and in positivity to create that environment where people could actually grow and learn yeah and, and not not fall into that lower vibrational thinking and believing of you know what please leads and it, it, those days i think are coming to an end or at least they're going to have an alternative to it yeah yeah so um, that's one of the things that um, I want to be able to to continue with you, Tim, because we're going to be continuing to to be in each other's shows and and learn what you've learned, learn what I've learned, and make sure that together we can create a bigger um, action, a bigger platform to empower people to say, "Yeah, I don't have to be sick. I don't have to uh, enter uh, into." Um, my senior years and mm -hmm. get dementia, get, you know, diabetes, a heart attack. And so that is different than what we're hearing everywhere else. And that's what we're about. And I'm, I'm hoping that we can continue that growth beyond, beyond what we even thought was imaginable that somebody else will take our baton and say, you know what, now, by the way, I got a call some, um, uh, with post-traumatic brain injury, um, you know, because I have sources that, you know, bring me this new truth as well. They said, we're doing great things, great things with um, uh, stem cells, 
mm. and water in the brain. Amazing. Stem cells, water in the water. brain. And it's clearing this kind of um, post-traumatic brain injury. So I have signed up for that. I'm going to use my body to see how it works for me. Because I don't know if you, I've, I've shared this with you off the air, and I've, I don't know if I've shared this on the air, but I was rear-ended, and um, it's been confirmed that I have the post-traumatic brain injury. And so, with that in mind, you know, we just, you know, I, I, I don't know what, I, I don't know what that's going to mean for my future. All I can do is do everything I possibly can to embrace this new alternative way of thinking, which mm. isn't, which isn't new. It's been around forever. We just have been sold this bill of poor goods. Yeah. That we have to, that realism is all about what chemical, wrong. chemical yeah. response. We're, 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 we're much more than chemical responses. We, yes. are, bio, we are biological beings. Yes. And that needs to be incorporated into our medical model. Yes, absolutely. Well. Okay. So Tim, to, uh, as, we, as we close our next segment or as we go into our next segment, I want to talk about... Get your life back now. Get your life back now. Yes, you read my mind and you saw me on the screen. So, uh, <laughs> so when we come back, we're going to talk about get your life back now and what we can do to heal our life now. When we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com, we'll be right here waiting for you. So, Tim, this is our last segment as integrated seniors. Ooh. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Well, you know, who knows? Because, you know, I'm in senior care business still and. Um, you know, who knows what we'll be doing later on on this too as well. Absolutely. I mean, no. I mean, what, yeah, go ahead, Tim. I didn't mean to. I mean, what, what, no, one of my goals was to start building you know, in nursing homes a private private wing. Uh, I want to sell a couple of my friends who run nursing homes who deal with Medicare Medicaid, but do a private wing, ring, uh, wing where we just do integrative medicine and to show them how people can heal from dementia in the nursing home. Can you do you know, it in Florida? So. Can you do it in Jacksonville? Can you do it in Florida? <laughs> because I really want to be a part of that. All right. All right. I think, cool. I think it's time. I think that, you know, it's pretty sick. Yeah. When you see all these hospitals expanding. Yeah. It's pretty sick. They're betting, they're betting on us getting sick. sick. Yeah, well, they are. Well, because they're making us sick, you know, and that's a problem. And people have to realize that you have to take your power back. I mean, we give our power over to hospitals. We give our power over to doctors. We give our power. The real doctors are the ones giving your power back to you, that you heal yourself, that no one can heal you. In fact, they, no doctor can heal you. No hospital can. They can manage your symptoms, but only your body allows yourself to heal itself. That's right. That's right. That's just a fact. Yes, absolutely. So it's going to lead us to our next segment, which right. is Get Your Life Back Now. Are we going to give away a CD, by the way? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, we are? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm just going to say be the first caller or texter. No. Okay. Do I do first caller? Uh, okay. Let me Whatever do, you want. I'll do the third because it's our last segment. So okay. let's, we'll do our last segment. When did, you're so generous. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, my dear Brian, are we ready to get started? Yep. Okay, here we go. I love it when he comes on the air. <laughs> I know. Like he's like he's like Marcel Marceau, and I can't see him. I, I, okay, Tim. He reminds me of George Burns. You know, yeah. wow, he's he's talking to us. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's my beautiful Brian. My beautiful Brian. Okay, we're ready. Give me the start sign. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow together. Today's teacher is my partner in truth, Tim Ray, and we have been doing um, integrated seniors now, probably about maybe six to six or so months. Mm -hmm. And Tim is doing so much. I mean, his vision is much greater than all of us combined, but <laughs> and, and and on steroids. What was that we were talking about yesterday? We were we were getting. Uh, we were going to get this um, URL for, for something you were saying, uh, uh, America. And I said, well, I'm just going to run out and get oh, yeah, it yeah, And yeah, then yeah. you were going to get the... <laughs> multi-universe. <know>, multi-universe. <laughs> I was going to get the multi-universe squared. So, I mean, it's, there's a lot of competition between Tim and I. And, there's, and it's all healthy, all good, because we cheer each other on. Absolutely. And that's the win-win that we are creating, that we are working with each other to expand our message, to grow 
what this new truth is all about. And so this is the segment where we're going to give something away. Yes, yeah. we are. <laughs> we're going to get give away, get your life back now. If you haven't received one of these or if you haven't gone to whenyouneedafriend.com and clicked on to buy your video, um, how much is it uh, now uh, for this video? Uh, 149 and it go, they go on sale periodically for $99. But, uh, but if you want to get a digital version of it, which is only $79, you can get that. But it's always nice to have a DVD and hold that in your hand. Yeah. So if you, if you spend the money on the 149 you get the digital version free. Okay. And, and when you get the digital version, only that's $79. Yes. And I've got my DVDs and be the third caller or texter 407-373-5959. And you will win a copy of Get Your Life Back Now. I was there. I was there when they did the um, Doctors Who Rock. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, and then there's also the conference. So when is the conference coming to Orlando? Uh, it's coming November, oh boy, I think it's November uh, uh, 9th, around that, around that time. Um, and it's going to be about the brain this year. Uh, and so it's going to be really interesting. I know, oh, hello. Yeah, oh, I know, right? Yeah, you're talking my language yeah, right I know, now. right? But, you know, we got to remember, on that DVD, uh, it's 20, 21 hours plus hours of capturing the top integrative doctors in the world. We're talking about Dr. Mercola, Dr. Sinatra, Dr. Andy Wakefield, Dr. Tennant, Dr. Bush, these are the world-renowned integrated doctors who really are getting the message out there contrary to what you know, our medical model wants people to know. So it's just a, uh, it's an incredible one-time opportunity where people have access to information that you'll never hear or see before unless you're in these circles with these integrative doctors. Yes, absolutely. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a great conference. It starts a lot. On, it's for the doctors to learn and grow to learn yes. a new truth as well. Share a little bit about yeah. that for if doctors are listening right now. Yeah, yeah. Go to, AC, to go to ACIMConnect.com, ACIMConnect.com. And these are the, you know, Dr. Cowden and Dr. Sconyers, they're, they're the doctor's doctor. These are the, the, the heavy the heavy hitter doctors like Mercola goes see, you know. So uh, these are, the, they train you on, on what, how to get involved. And so if you are a traditional doctor, uh, allopathic doctor and you want to integrate your medicine model then these are the guys you want to go see and and really uh, diversify your your services so you can not only deal with only acute or triage you're actually now dealing with chronic illnesses and 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 preventative care that's right. not what we want we want the full gamut we want preventative care first and then if you have to do the burn cutter subscribe uh, prescribe then you could uh, that would be your last resort not the first resort Yes, we, that's, we got we got to wake up to preventive care. Yeah, yes, happen. yes, and that's where the awaken. I'm going to change my show. By the way, it's going to be awaken <laughs> the <laughs> universe. <laughs> <laughs> it is not the Lillian McDermott radio show anymore. I am just making this up as we go along. It's going to be from now on. Welcome to the Awaken Universe show. <laughs> <laughs> that's my goal our goal is to work together and to so that people know that they can heal their bodies and as, as I said before when Dr. Lee Cowden came on the show and he's been on the show a couple of times actually he's been on the show maybe three times I, I love how how he walked away from what he was taught but continues to remain very close to it. So he is an MD and the, the cute thing is that he learned this integrative or holistic and homeopathic and, and herbal and all that from his mother-in-law. And that's how, that's how it piqued his curiosity. And he could have, as a doctor said, Oh, what does she know? She's just like burning herbs, you know, but it, he saw what she was doing and he was curious. Mm -hmm. He was curious instead of critical. How right. many times, how many times do we see somebody who, who has drum, their drum beats differently than ours and we label them as wax as opposed to, gosh, what is it? What's their process? You know, what is their process? And many of the doctors on Get Your Life Back Now had to beat to a different drummer, uh, to a different drum, because they needed to go outside what we think is normal, maybe making us sick. Right. And, you know, and, and they take into account that our bioelectrical being, we're bio or bioelectrical magnetic beings. 
not just a chemical response. And that's so critical. And I, I can't emphasize that enough that when there comes to certain chronic illnesses, you know, not just dealing with the chemical response to help heal, heal the problem. You got to look at our biofields and our electrical fields. And when they're not rotating in the proper clockwise direction, whether yeah. around us or within us, uh, then these are issues that are causing breakdown of cells and molecular structure and, and so on down the line. And the connection between the body, mind, and soul, the, the thoughts and feelings as well, that affects our biofields, which affects our organs, which affects our chemical response. That's right. So it's just so important to deal with this. And, and finally, Western culture is starting to wake up to it, thanks to these, these, these worldwide uh, and integrative doctors who are, are brave enough to go against the medical model and, and say, no, that's not true, but this is. Yes. And I, I think that's just very um, heroic, in my opinion. That's one reason why I sponsored the whole event over there last year with the, uh, with the Doctors Who Rock and to get your life back now because of that reason. I mean, these people are putting their license on the line, like any Wakefield. And, and you hear the stories from Dr. Tennant or Dr. Cowden the, and Dr. Sheely, Norm Sheely, what they had to go through over the decades of just being put down, Dr. Brzezinski. And I mean, it's just, it's just amazing that these, these truth seekers have to go through just to get what they believe out there without, and, and the repercussions they had to go through. And they still do it. Yep. To me, and, that's just amazing. And we're helping them along with their journey, and that's what this is all about. I want to encourage you to be the third caller or texter, 407-373-5959, so that you too can get your life back now. Tim Ray, it has been an honor and a pleasure to sit by your side and watch you grow as well. And I'm just so thrilled. I'm looking forward to going on to your show, um, Awaken Atlanta and being a part of what you're about. And I know that you will be coming on to my show to be um, the new Awaken Universe show. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It would, be an, it would be an honor, really, an honor to be, to be one of your guests on your new universe, universe uh, reach out. So. <laughs> yes. Okay. So thank you so much, Tim. And, and to you, my listening friend, remember, we can make informed choices but just make sure that you're listening to truth a new truth not the stuff that's been fed to us for so many years that's making us sick and please remember we'll be right here waiting for you worldwide at when you need a friend.com this is lillian mcdermott wishing you love peace joy and unexpected abundance make it the best day ever, ever. <laughs> who is the blow dryer. I know. <laughs> the, 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 my, my landscapers show up right to, right here, there, and right in front of my thing. And I told, what I are told, your I told, window, are your windows open? Is that no, no, it's shut. They're just right in front, right here. Okay. Well, Tim, it's been a pleasure and an honor, and I'm looking forward to our next conversation. Yes. I know yes. It will be soon. And yes. so we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching today.